So you should have read through questions 17 and 18, and I'll try and go through the solutions with you now to help you get a, a handle on how to do these wordy questions, either ones that are based on a, a real life context. So this one, question 17, starts off by saying, you've got adult tickets and child tickets. Now the adult tickets are represented by X and the child tickets are represented by Y. So you're told in the text, a family of two adults and two children go to the cinema and it costs 14 pounds. So here we have two times X, two times Y is two adults and two children at a cost of 14 pounds. You're also told one adult, which is X, takes four children, four Y, and that costs £13.60. So those are my two equations which I need to solve. I'm choosing here to do them by substitution because I've got X plus 4Y equals 13.6. That implies, that's this sign implies, X is 13.6 minus 4Y. And then I'm substituting that in here. So that is going to substitute in there from this equation here. So I'm using this. 2 times x plus 2 times y equals 14. Instead of x, I'm going to substitute that in from there. Times out the brackets. That's this line. Simplify. I've just made everything positive. And here I've divided by 6. So I get a value for y of 2.2. I'm then going to substitute that value back into this equation to find the value of x. So it's 13.6 minus 4 times 2.2, and that gives me 4.8. So that tells me that an adult ticket is £4.80 and a child ticket is £2.20. I've also done it using the elimination method, just to show you what happens here. So you can use both methods. So for the elimination method, I've said, well, I'm going to double the second equation. So that gives me 2x plus 8y. 27.2. I've written both equations here. I'm going to eliminate the x. So I'm going to subtract 2x, take 2x, disappears. 8y, take away 2y, gives me my 6y. And 27.2, take 14 is 13.2. Again, divide by 6. y is 2.2. Plug that back into one of the original equations. I've chosen to plug it back into that one, but it doesn't matter which one you use, either of the top two and you get x is 4.8. So it's the same result. You might prefer one method from the other. You do need to be able to do both because at some point the questions are going to get harder when we put different types of equations in and you will have to use the substitution method. So it's worth trying both at some point. Right, question 18. You need to remember that sum means to add and different means to subtract. So what looks like a pretty awkward question with not much information actually has quite a bit. So the sum means x plus y must equal 39 and the difference x minus y equals 9. Then we use those two equations. I'm going to do a straightforward elimination because I can take one away from the other and the x variables disappear. y take away negative y gives me 2y. Be careful there. So 2y is 30, which means y is 15. If I scroll up slightly, we can then see that we know y is 15. We know that x plus 15 is 39. So x is 24. And that's your answer. Now pause the video and have a read through question 19. Once you've read through, restart the video. Well, hopefully you've read through question 19 and you did actually pause it. I'm going to help by starting you off on question 19. And I would say sometimes a diagram helps, particularly when they're talking about areas and perimeters. So you're told the first rectangle, which has dimensions X and Y, has a perimeter of 42. So I've drawn this rectangle. And here's the perimeter. I've drawn the other rectangle, 2X times 1 third Y, because you're told those are the dimensions. The perimeter equation for this one is two lots of x because you've got two sides and two lots of y it's 42 this one is two lots of 2x and two lots of a third y now you need to try and solve it 